Hey, how's it going? Jason here. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about black pine candle cutting and what happens to the branches when you don't cut the candles. All right, so right here, I've got two black pines. I got this one and I've got this one that I found in the nursery. Um, I got this one, which you can tell has a lot of branches. And I've got this one that's a little bit leggier. So I've gotten some questions on basically what happens if you don't cut the candles, you know, June, you know, around the, you know, the right when the uh, candles start to push out and they start to get a little bit long. Um, over here in Southern California, that's usually around June to about August that we try to cut the candles. Um, it depends, you know, depend on your climate, what time that you guys will be doing it to yours. Okay, so it's June right now, and you can tell on this tree, it's got a bunch of candles that are growing out. And on this one too, these ones are a little bit leggier. So we're gonna compare the two. And in my previous video, we already talked about how to cut the candles. You can watch that video on actually how to cut the candles. Uh, but I'm gonna show you in this video what happens when you forget to cut the candles or you skip candle cutting. And in this case, this one was forgotten. So we're gonna take a look at it and compare it to this one, which was a little bit more upkept. All right, so let's take a look. I mean, you can tell that this one's kind of a nicer tree. It's probably why it was on my pile of things to do. While this one is really just a one gallon black pine that was kind of left uh, to grow. Uh, there's some benefits to it for not cutting the candles. Uh, we'll discuss it a little bit later, uh, but you can tell that this one was kind of forgotten. Here, I've zoomed up over here on this tree. You can see it's much more full. Um, I got a lot of old needles here that can just be plucked, uh, which you usually can get rid of when you do your candle cutting and get rid of the old needles. Um, but you can see that this one has a little bit, you know, of a thicker base. It's an older tree. Um, it has some horrible reverse taper, but you know, sometimes the trees aren't perfect. So you just work with what you have. Um, so I've got this tree right here, which has a nice base. You can see that's a nice base uh, compared to this guy, which is a lot younger. You can see that one is a lot younger. Um, this one, the candles were cut regularly and you can see the candles right now are starting to form. You can see right here, there's two on this guy right there. All right, so you can tell right here, you can see on the side view here, uh, down, but you can see there's the candle. There's two of them coming off of it right there, but that's where I would make the cut. And on this one right here, you can see there's the candle right there. There's a big long segment. I cut off these two shoots right here. It's one candle, so I'd cut it right back right there. So you can tell that this one's been kept up more. Um, and that's just because it's a nicer tree, but you can see how full the trees has become. You can see how full um, the candles are. You can see them popping out of everywhere. As opposed to on this one, you can see that it's much leggier. So if we take a closer look at this tree, you can see where exactly the candle wasn't cut. So let's take a look at this one right here. You can see right here. So this isolated branch right here. You can see that there's a little poof ball right here, but you can also see that the candle grew out last season from here to here grow up from here, this section to here. So the previous candle was from here to here, from here to here. And then this was the part that I didn't cut last year or forgot to cut. So they grew from here to here. And now you've got a new, got new candles coming out at the end right there. You can see right here, this is where the new candles are coming out. So what happens when you skip it is that you'll get a period of growth that will get longer. So the branch will get a little bit longer right here. So if you skip it, the next season, it'll come out over here. If you didn't cut these ones, see how there's a couple right here? If you didn't cut these ones, it's not necessarily that the branches just gonna go out straighter, straighter, and only go get growth up here, but you will get some candles over here. So if you let some of these, or you'll get some growth over here. So if you cut this back still, you'll still get growth on these guys right here, which can turn into branches as well. So it's not the end of the world if you skip the candle cutting. In some cases, it's used to thicken up the branch. In some cases, it's actually just used to thicken up the trunk. Um, or just to put some height and give some, you know, make the tree grow a little bit faster. So you can see, I think the best example is probably, oh, here's another one. Here's another good example. Okay, so say we isolate this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this one off, uh, just to illustrate, I've got so many trees. So I'm going to cut this one off just to so show you guys. And I'll put it on the table here. You guys can see it a little bit better. Okay. Now, ordinarily I would not cut a branch just like that without thinking about it first. But in this case, I've got a lot of branches on that tree. And that's not one of my favorite trees. So I'm just going to, I cut a branch here just to illustrate it for you guys a little bit better. So here's the branch and just imagine this part was connected to the tree a second ago. And you can see that, okay, let's clean up the little bit of these old needles so I can show you. So I'll clean up some, we'll clean up some needles here so you can see the spacing a little bit better. Okay. Whenever there's needles, there's always the possibility that you're going to get some buds out of there. So basically this part right here was attached to the tree. And after every season, you're going to get a little gap right here. So you can see here, this was a gap, this was a gap. And then at this point right here, we actually cut the candles last year. Uh, so that's why 
it's cut shorter. That's why there isn't a big gap right here. It's a very short one right there. And we've got new candles growing out right now. Basically, after the dormancy, around spring to the summer, you're going to have your candles growing, which in this case would be something like this. For this year, it'd be this one right here. So you can imagine a few years back, it was this section that was growing right here. At that point, the candle would stop growing and be dormant right there. And then the next season, when spring comes again, you'd have new candles approaching from here or start growing from this section. And that's why you've got one, two, three right here. And then if that was left to grow again, you'd come up to here. So you can see in this one was left to grow two times and then it was cut the last time and then you can see that these candles are actually sprouting here. So basically right here, at this, the last, the last year here, the candle was cut and it had a couple buds that came out. One, two, three, it looks like three or four. One, two, three, four of them. And usually you only need to save a pair. But four of them came out and it grew until dormancy, which was right around this period. Now from spring to now, this is the new growth, is basically from this part right here up to this part right here. So this whole segment here is the new growth basically from spring to, to now. So if you skip seasons, what you'll end up having is these kind of sections right here. So if you end up letting it grow, you know, a few two seasons, you skip two seasons, uh, like this one, one, two. If you let them skip, you'll end up having to maybe cut back and use one of these guys, uh, but it's not the end of the world. So going back to this one, you know, the bigger tree right here, this one right here, you can see that it was left untouched. You know, there looks like there was a few candles cut at the top here just because it was getting way too big. So you can see that there's some smaller shoots coming out here. Um, so last season, it looks like it was cut back a little bit, but now it's time for us to kind of shape this a little bit, figure out exactly which branches we want to keep. Those branch that I just cut, but um, I'm probably going to use this one anyways and put some movement into this one. So if you, if you start cutting some candles and you miss some here and there, um, you'll still be able to recover it. But when you start working with sort of more developed trees over here, so here's one that, you know, is a little bit more developed and you got some candles you have to cut. You know, when you're working on a younger tree, don't worry about the bouncing as much, but you know, watch the video on my black pine so you'll have a better idea of that. You can kind of, let me cut this really quick, some of these back. go in here and clean up the needles later because there's a lot of needles and branches die when there's no sunlight that gets through so you got to make sure you keep up on maintaining your needle your needle plucking so I'm gonna leave some just for extreme illustration illustration purposes so what happens on the tree you can see that it's a little bit more compact what happens on the tree is that if you let some candles grow you'll end up with little longer like your branches like this one and that looks a little bit funny right so you end up with some that'll grow out and then you'll get a burst of growth the next season coming out where it's dormant right around here, and it gets a little bit leggier. So then the following season, you've got this compact tree that's all compact right here, and you've got a couple like leggy branches coming off the top like that. So if you skip those, those won't mesh with everything else, and you'll have these two leggy branches. So that's kind of the importance of cutting your back your candles. Once you start to do it, you gotta keep up on the maintenance just so everything stays in proportion. If you're trying to develop branches, say you wanna develop this branch going further out, then you could skip one, grow it out that way, just to lengthen that branch, so you don't have to keep on cutting back and waiting incrementally to develop that branch. You could skip a season and let it grow. Um, but for the most part, if you're trying to maintain growth, then you want to make sure you cut your candles back so you don't end up, you don't end up going too far on that. So then you've got a more compact tree, you've got more dense foliage. And then when if you put some wire on this guy, put some wire on this, start to shape it, clean out the needles. See these longer ones here are the older needles. Um, once you start to shape it, you'll have a really nice bonsai. So if you take a look at these two trees, you can see this one was kept up. You've got this really nice dense growth. Um, this one was uh, regularly maintained, had the candles cut, and it was, uh, the candles were pruned so that the foliage will continue to grow dense and compact and you get new buds and new, new buds coming out of those candle cuts and then you can develop it from there and start to ramify your tree. I suppose that this guy was skipped and you've got something a little bit more wild. Now the nice thing about this is that this is a blank slate, so I can go in here and I can bend all this, I can try to put movement in the trunk, I can decide which one I want to go with. There's a lot you can do with this. Uh, this is more of a straight up raw material versus this. It is definitely more maintenance at this point. Put some wire on this, put this in a nice pot and this guy's ready to go. Another scenario that you want to skip is that if you have branches that are kind of weak. So we're black pines, I mean we're talking about advanced trees, uh, more advanced trees. You want to make sure that you don't overstress the tree and whenever you cut the candles that's pretty stressful on the tree. So when you have really big trees, 
you want to keep, make sure that you follow some balancing rules there. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video on what happens to your black pines if you skip candle cutting. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, subscribe if you'd like to see some more videos. Thanks for watching.